Hey YouTube, what's going on? What's going on? B Gamer here. Hey, with a little more info, cards that'll be releasing tomorrow. I like doing mine late night because you know I'm just starting out. I don't got too many followers or whatever. So hey, hey. I hope y'all having good holidays though, and being blessed and staying away from that COVID. But to talk about a little mad news tomorrow, you guys got. Take some heel tight end. You know, it's going to be like a lot of out of position cards tomorrow. So, you know, um, we can get that out of the way. I didn't play with Take some heel last year at the tight end because I was like a little new to Mutt. I got started late. But he he's a good card. And he has a good archetype vertical, vertical um, threat, which is pretty good. You know, he'll get deep out, deep in for like one AP. So... It's good, like, with the AP with him. And he got very good speed for a tight end. And on the Saints theme team, he will be great. He'll probably get up to, like, 95 speed. So, and that the thresholds are really good. Short route running 94, medium route running 93. You kind of can't beat that. Uh, you know, but it's like, EA, you know, be a little more creative and a little more, like, bring out a, a few more new cards. You know, these are the same cards from, like, last year, you know, uh, Taysom Hill was last year, and the cards that have just been released, the Deion Sanders and all that stuff, like um, wide receiver, same cards from last year, you know. Uh, get a little more variety, in my opinion. And I think other other theme teams need love, you know, like I say, Jaguars, Vikings, you know, other teams. Get other teams from love. Bears, you know, they did the Bears dirty, man, you know. <laughs> they brought out uh, Bears, like, defensive end and a defensive tackle. They did bring out a refrigerator period fullback, though. <laughs> I feel your pain, Bears fans. You know, that's just like me as a Cowboys fan and running a Cowboys theme team if they were. Of all the cards I bring out, and no disrespect to Daryl Moose Johnson, but he was the fullback, and they bring out, of all those stars we had on Cowboys teams, that's what they decided to drop, a fullback. You know, so, hey, the next card we'll be talking about is Vita Vey, out of position, uh, running back. And, I mean, that's kind of... If you look at it, this card is kind of scary. On a Bucks theme team, you probably can put him at fullback, and he'll probably get up to like 91, 92 speed. He'll get up to like 92 speed with the strap, strip um, card, the strap items. Uh, man, that's kind of like a scary card on goal line situations. You're not going to want to tackle this guy. I mean, he's a load. I mean, it's hard enough to tackle. Uh, what's that guy came out? The, the defensive tackle that they brought out, Hunt. Yeah, that that guy's a big guy at fullback as well, like Hunt. And now you got Vita Vey, and you, I'm sure he'll probably get a secondary position at fullback. This car right here is going to be scary. The 93 trucking, break tackle at 90. You know, I know EA want to have a little fun, though, man, but come on, man. Like, Vita Vey, like running back. Come on, man. The Bucks always get a card, though. You know, they talking about my, my Cowboys theme team. The Bucks get a good card almost every week. Hey, but hey, y'all will get Vita Vey tomorrow, like out of position. I don't mean, I don't know about that one, though. You know, I think it's going to be a good card, but I mean, I think EA reaching a little bit. You know, get, like I say, other teams need their, need positions. You know, they need players. So why are you bringing out a Vita Vey uh, running back? You know, I mean, the, the like I say, the Vikings need more, more players on their team. The Bears, uh, Dolphins, hmm. Uh, Texans, um, I mean, I could just go on and on. Like, you know, Cleveland Browns, you know, they need, you know, get them a little love. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Bucks don't even need no more love, you know. But, hey, they gave y'all a Vita Vey too, Bucks Nation. So, hey. Uh, Mike Williams, and I, I got his, that's why I've been keeping his power up card because I knew they were going to bring something out sooner than later. And they bring out a Mike Williams tomorrow, wide receiver. And the numbers are, for it to be December, uh, you would think that he'll have like a 93 speed maybe. But it's like EA stays true to the people that they want to stay true to, if you know what I mean. It's like Richard Sherman is a card that they like, so they would lie about his speed. Richard Sherman was never a burner, but he came out to earlier today, and his speed is like a 95 if you power Richard Sherman up, he'll be like a 99 speed on theme teams like such as the Bucks, yeah, Bucks, Seahawks, and um 49ers. So 
You know, that's a that's a W card, man. I mean, Richard Sherman was never that fast in real life. Was he a great corner? Yes, indeed. One of the best to ever play the game with that height. So in this game, he's already going to be glitchy with that height. At cornerback, oh, my God, that's scary. I might have to pick Richard up. But, hey, tomorrow card got another Cowboy. So I'm going to save that for tomorrow. But it's going to be, uh, well, Saturday. Saturday got Mel Renfro coming out. So I'm going to probably pick him up, make my defense a little bit better. But here go Mike Williams. And the numbers are 92 speed, not that great. But that's what I'm saying about EA. If you want to make the game about fun, why didn't you make Mike Williams speed at like a 94? So he get up to the, the Kims with the strat cars. He can get up to like 98, 99 speed. I mean, now with theme team and the strat cars, you'll probably get him up to like a 96 speed, 97 speed maybe, which is still good for a big body receiver. I think Mike Williams is like 6'4". So him being a big – I just hate his archetype though. But he does have jump. The jump is really good. The catching and the catching traffic is very, very, very good. And, excuse me. And his spec catch is spectacular. So, like, when you want a most guys, this is the car for you right here. Short route running is 95. Medium route running, 92. Deep route running, 93. That's great. So, hey, this might be a good car for the Chargers fans, man. Good car. Just wish his speed was a little faster. Hey, Packers finally got some some more love, you know. I've been also saving this power up because I was wondering when he was going to get a power up card, and he finally did. I'm going to go with my binder and um, probably sell his power up in a little while. But here you go, your boy Darnell Savage. D. Savage in the building. Yup, D. Savage is a, on the game. He's really good. He I don't know about this year. Is, he have, is he's having an impact like he did last year? But on the game... Darnell Savage is always a speed demon. So the only thing about this year's game is about height. So you want to have big cornerbacks. You want to have big free safeties and strong safeties out there because the moss is real. Guys that can't even play for real just throw the ball up on streaks and catch it all the time, you know. Fun for them, but not so fun for me when I have to deal with it. You know, I'm more of a strategic type of player. But you got Darnell Savage, the numbers, and he's a free safety. He gets a really, really good archetype, the best archetype for me. Uh, zone, I ain't going to say the best because run support is probably really good too. But he has a really good archetype, which he can get like mid-zone for one. He will get a lot of abilities for cheap. Like hybrid is the worst one because the abilities they get cost too much AP for them. But Darnell Savage is coming in at 93 speed. So you can, on the theme team and strat items, he's had, he has a possible potential speed to be a 98. So that's great. You got acceleration at 93, tackling at 90. Play rate and awareness is very important, and he has a 94 play rate. Man coverage, you'll get it killed up to like a 90, so he'll meet that 90 threshold. Zone coverage is 96, and power, 96. And the thing about Darnell Savage, the only knock on this card is his height. He's only 5'10", but EA might give him 6 feet, but Darnell Savage is 5'10", so... Be careful at getting mossed. Be careful at trying to put him in the box as well because you might get ran over. And I'm hearing about EA is going to take away the run commit glitch, which I'm I'm kind of sad right now because I like it because I think the run is too overpowered anyway. Then you got the Bo Nose crap in the game when he gets his – Bo Nose is like unstoppable. They've taken it away from the MCS. But, you know, EA says, hey, y'all just regular players, so they leave it in the game for us. And dudes are running all over us with Bo Jackson, even when we have, like, four guys trying to tackle him. <laughs> it just don't even make no sense. But uh, this Darnell Savage coming out. Hey, this is a card that I'm excited about, honestly. This is a card I'm excited about. You guys got you guys got Odell Beckham, the receiving bag. Oh, I like that. OBJ's kind of having a quiet year this year, but it's good to see him get a change of scenery with the Rams, and he's, you know, scoring some touchdowns, though. But, you know, him coming back from injuries and things like that, you're always hoping that brother does well in life and on the field. So, hey, keep doing what you're doing, OBJ. And this car is ridiculous. I hope he get all those abilities for cheap and you have evasive uh, route tech and backfield master. If... EA was doing it ordinarily, those this car would be really, really high. And the abilities would be really, really high because evasive 
for a receiving back is 2 AP. Route tech for a receiving back is 3 AP. And backfield master for a receiving back is 1. So hopefully EA puts all this together for like all, you get all these abilities for 3 AP total. But we'll see when he comes out tomorrow because those are, this is a very interesting card. And I wouldn't mind picking them up myself because I love the receiving back. 93 speed so he'll be like he for theme teams he'll be great because he'll probably get up to like a 95 speed 96 speed change of direction uh 93 trucking is just low you just gonna want to stay receiving with him maybe do some sweeps and things like that but agility is nice acceleration is at 94 obj receiving back is a w for me i like that car i, I love that car um and jj watt this is probably for the runners. Like, you know, run block is the first thing that stood out to me. And I just looked at this card. 91 run block. So if you're an eye form, a single back, and you're a runner, you know what you're doing with the sticks on running, this is, might be the guy for you. Oh, you want to place him at full back in eye form and let him lead block? This is going to be the guy for you. And, you know, his speed ain't too bad to be a tight end. J JJ Watt actually played tight end before. So, hey, 88 speed. On the theme team, he'll get up to like 90 speed. Catching 85, hmm. Catching traffic 81, he'll drop a lot of balls. He's going to drop a lot of passes. Spit catch is low, 82. Short route running low, 83. Medium route running, 81. So you know his deep route running is probably horrible. So card is just good for blocking. I won't waste too much more time on it. Hey, if y'all copy, hey, good luck with y'all. But he's good for blocking. Oh, my God. Are you serious right now? When I saw this earlier, I was like, no way. I thought EA had made a mistake, and I thought late on the night if I got back on, they'll change it and make him like a, a free safety or a strong safety or something. But Bobby Wagner punter, I'm confused. Um, I'm confused. So kick power, 90. Kick accuracy, 83. I mean, he's got better kicking than, <laughs> like, like real punters on the team, you know. So I mean, hey, Seattle got a W in the special teams department, but you know, and then like look what they put on him. Like they put enforcer on him as his ability. A kicker with enforcer on him. What sense does that make? And you know, EA has some good things about them, but they they have so much potential to be great. And that every moment that they have potential to be great and take advantage of it, they give a Thumbs down, you know? Like, come on, man. Bobby Wagner, punter. Hey, I ain't got I ain't got much more to say about that. It's a good card, but why? <laughs> Bobby Wagner, punter, man. I'm going to have to take another sip of drink for that. Bobby Wagner, punter, though. Man. <laughs> hey. All right. If EA say so. But, hey, that, that's about it. You got a lot of Tyreek. I won't even waste my time too much more. Like I say, you guys can go to mutt.gg, create your account. Go to Twitter, create your account, and you guys can get the latest news on Madden Ultimate Team and Madden. Madden rigs and all that stuff. You can get information you want. You, I mean, you guys come to the channel and check things out. That's cool. But you guys can be your own bosses and make up make up a mud account and you know it's free make up a twitter account you guys can get this information just like i got it so hey with that being said be gamer here and now i'm out peace